What's up everyone? I am getting ready to install the OEM hitch on our 2021 Pilot um, along with the wiring harness. Um, there is one adapter plate that I am still waiting on but I am going to get the hitch installed tonight as well as the wiring. Now since I'm only installing the hitch and the wiring and the hands-free adapter when I get that part, um, I'll be allowed to tow 3,500 pounds uh, with this current setup. There is an, an oil cooler for the transmission um, that will bring it up to 5,000 pounds. So um, if we get to that point where I feel like I need to tow that extra 1,500 pounds, then we'll definitely add the um, oil cooler to the setup. Okay, here's the hitch. When you order the hitch, it comes with this rear fascia panel, which will uh, fit nicely right around the hitch opening. And then you'll actually remove that lower portion of the bumper right there. And this one will snap into place and screw into place. It comes with the mounting hardware and the hitch cover plate. The wiring kit comes with everything shown here, the wiring, the brackets, the fuses, the relays, um, the connectors, as well as the brake controller wiring right here in this bag with the fuse. I don't have a brake controller, so I'm not gonna install that at this time. Okay, now that we're starting to open it up, you need to remove this plug here so you can gain access to drop the uh, spare tire, um, pull this side panel so you can get the jack out of the way, and then pull this panel here. Okay, we got the module and the bracket and the screw here uh, all put together. And this first piece, we're gonna put it in actually right behind this wire. There's a uh, slotted, really hard to see right back here there's a slotted hole and that is where it's going to mount so I will show you what it looks like after I get it in okay um, we need to get this connector um, mounted and there is a um, there's a, a wire that's in here already I actually see it right there so it's provisioned with that that plug. So all we need to do is reach up in there and pull that wire down and then we can connect it here to this um, this end of the plug and then where it secures is, this might be kind of hard to see, anyway there's right below that blue wire there is a, uh, a hole in that panel and that's where this red end will attach. Okay, we need to get this grommet out right here. We're just gonna punch that out from the bottom. Right there. Punch it out so we can put, run our wire up through there. It's got a new grommet that'll fill that hole. Okay, got the wires running up from the bottom with that grommet on there. Coming up through there, so that's good. Uh, we need to connect this gray plug to the module that we installed first back there. And then um, the white plug on this module will connect to the wire we just ran up from down below. Um, don't forget there's a ground right here that'll need to get mounted. And here's the bracket. And I'll show you what it looks like. There's just not a lot of room in here, so I'll show you what it looks like when it's all installed. Okay, got the uh, bracket mounted with the ground on it. Got the white plug connected. It snaps in at the top of this bracket. And then that module we first installed is connected to the wiring now as well. So now we just need to put this fuse block, attach this on this bracket, uh, put our relays in, and then we'll be done back here. Okay, under the hood here, at the back by this far wall, there is the auxiliary uh, fuse block. And now, if you had done the um, additional wiring for the um, electric brake controller, 
there'll be one more fuse you're going to put in, but I'm only going to put in um, the 30 amp fuse, which goes right here. And then this open space, this is where, if you just read the back here, card here, or the, the cover, it'll tell you um, where each of your fuses go. This would be for the e-brake, and this is the other brake um, controller. So put the fuse in there, the 20 amp, and then 30 amp right there. This could be the most frustrating part. I'm trying to get this little piece out. There's so many clips. But you just gotta get in there and wedge your tool to open it up. And there's these push. These push lock fasteners that you have to break free. Kind of a pain. Okay, so I got that aft fascia out. And um, I have the option for the uh, hands-free tailgate assist. I didn't, I was missing this bracket, but I didn't really know what this um, adapter looked like because that hitch is gonna come out right here. So this piece is the adapter bracket for the hands-free device. So I'm just gonna disconnect it for right now um, until I get my part in, and then I'm probably going to have to take off, I'm not sure what, to get this thing back in. But I need my hitch here next week, so I don't really have time to wait. But as you can see, there's two wires. It must be like a sensing loop. They come down into this box. And um, so when you swipe your foot underneath this, this is what opens up your rear hatch. Okay, on your new fascia, you need to take the nut clips off of the other piece that you took off, squeeze those back on there, and then cut out um, the hole for the connector. And now I recommend you cut it from the back side, so in case you slip off, it doesn't scratch the surface that's going to be shown. Okay, got the new part in. I'm leaving this loose for now so I can tuck the wiring in behind this bracket and then I'll put this um, fastener back through there. And then when you lift the hitch up, there's three, three holes here and they're gonna go right here on both sides. Okay, got the hitch installed, got the bolts torqued, um, tied up the wiring, put in these extra clips here. Uh, just need to raise the tire, close up the panels. Put these back in here. Hey guys, I just wanted to say uh, thanks for watching the video and, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, you're able to find some information out there, you know, buy the parts. You guys can do this work yourselves and save yourself some money. I think Honda wanted, uh, just for the parts alone from the dealership, $500 or so for the hitch and the wiring. 
Um, I was able to find OEM parts online for half that. Um, and they wanted three, four hundred dollars to install them. So, um, you know, altogether they wanted about eight hundred dollars to install the hitch, and I was able to do it for a fraction of that. So, um, you know, it looks good. It's going to give some versatility to the vehicle. We can um, tow some some things if we want to tow something heavier. You know, you throw that cooler on. Um, it'll up the the towing capacity up to uh, five thousand pounds. So. Um, Anyway, overall, it took me about two hours to do everything. Um, I do have some knowledge and some experience with um, doing things like this, so it wasn't too bad. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to try it out. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks.